Israel's military released on Saturday footage of troops locating and destroying an strategic Hezbollah underground facility in southern Lebanon. The IDF said that the facility was over 1.5 kilometers long and stored equipment that enabled hundreds of militants to stay inside for extended periods of time. Israel has said it will continue to strike Hezbollah until it is safe for Israeli citizens displaced from their homes near the Lebanon border to return. Hezbollah has vowed to keep firing rockets into Israel until there is a ceasefire in Gaza. The health ministry in Beirut says the total toll over the past year is over 2,600 killed and 12,200 wounded. עוד קילומטר, עוד קילומטר בתצורה הזאת. של בירי יציאה, מצד אחד אפשר לראות. של מתחמים, כמו שראינו מתחמי לינה גדולים עם מיטות ומזרונים. מזרונים, מיטות, עם תחמושת ביחד, מזגנים, ציוד לחימה, תירס, מרים. עוד מלא 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 דברים, אפשר גם לראות פה המון אמל"ח, רובי צלפים, עשרות רבות של תחמושות, אם לא מאות, מטענים, מערכות יזימה. המטרה של המערכת התת-קרקעית הזאת, ובייחוד המתחמי שהייה האלה, היא בעצם אותם פעילים של חיזבאללה, של רדואן, להגיע מהכפרים הסמוכים, או מהכפר הזה, כאזרחים רגילים, על פניו, לבושים בבגדים אזרחיים, נכנסים למנהרה הזאת, למערכת התת-קרקעית הזאת, עולים פה על ציוד לחימה, על וסטים, נשקים קלים, נשקים כבדים, מקלעים, תחמושת, המנשאים שלהם, וברגע הפקודה יוצאים מהתקפה למדינת ישראל. זאת מערכת שהם בנו מעל 15 שנים, ועכשיו אנחנו פה, ואנחנו נשמיד את המנהרה הזאת. The Israel Defense Forces attacked Iranian military sites, including air defense batteries and facilities involved in the production of ballistic missiles used in Iranian assaults on Israel on October 1st and April 14th. Furthermore, the military stated that these strikes have granted the Israeli Air Force greater freedom of action in Iranian airspace and that they have a wide range of targets they can strike in future operations if necessary. The extent of the damage caused by the strikes will be assessed later, the Israel Defense Forces announced, adding that Iran has paid a price for its attacks on Israel. After the completion of Israeli strikes on Iran, Israel Defense Forces spokesman Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari warned in an English-language statement that if Iran makes a mistake and escalates further, Israel will respond. Iran claims that its air defense system successfully repelled Israeli attacks, although some facilities sustained limited damage. In a statement from Iran's air defense, it was reported that Israel targeted military sites in the provinces of Tehran, Khuzestan and Ilam. The Israel Defense Forces announced that it has completed overnight airstrikes targeting Iranian military facilities. The strikes conducted approximately 1,600 kilometers from Israel, involved dozens of aircraft, including fighter jets, refueling planes, and reconnaissance aircraft, reports the Times of Israel. All aircraft safely returned to Israel. The strikes were carried out in multiple waves over several hours across various regions of Iran.
Bibini. آسمان شهر تهران بعد از شلیک دوباره پدافند هوایی کاملا امن بدون هیچ آتش انفجار و یا دودی تصاویری که همکنون میبینید مرکز شهر تهران میدان بارستان ساختمون مجلس شورای اسلامی برج میلاد تهران از دور کاملا امن بدون هیچ دود و حادثه امروز شنبه پنجم آبان ساعت حدود پنج خورده صبح